Hi, Ryan Stylson here with Accelerate Marketing. One of the biggest challenges that I see with some of my clients is that they, they can't get either Google Plus or Yelp reviews to stick. And what I mean by that is that is that it's just tough to get them to actually stay once somebody reviews your business online. And that has to do with a lot of different factors. One of them and is that a lot of these people that are leaving reviews for you, the reason why they're they're not the reviews are not staying to where people can see them on your Google Plus account or your Yelp account is because that person may not be very active. They're most likely not very active on either Google Plus or on Yelp. They probably just signed up for an account. They probably have not completely filled out all their information in the account. So those are two things that I would highly recommend that, that they do or you have somebody do before they actually leave a review for you is for, have them fill out their their Yelp account, their Google Plus account completely, upload a picture, fill out all their interests, engage with people in the community, uh, send out friend requests, you know, link up with other people that are in the community, uh, get as many friends as they can in Yelp or Google Plus. And the other thing is, is that if you are trying to actually get people to leave reviews for you, whether it's in your business or in your practice, the best way to get those reviews to stick, and this is one thing that I highly recommend that you do, is that you have the person that's in your practice or in your, your business, if they have an iPhone or a smartphone, have them, there's, a, there's an app, I don't know if you can see it, that's Google Plus's app, and then there's a Yelp app, okay? What I would highly recommend that you would do is I would have the person actually download the app and then log in, like just go into their, their Yelp account, they'll have to log in and um, go to the home screen, they'll have to log in with their username and password once they set up their account, and then when they're at your location, make sure that they check in. There's a check-in feature, and then you'll be able to identify, they'll be able to identify your, your business here, and if they can't, they can search up there, but that's really, it's really key that they, that they do that, because ultimately, if they do that, then they're gonna, you're gonna be much more likely to have that review stick. And actually, if somebody, if you're getting filtered reviews on Yelp, then I highly recommend that you have those people that have had filtered reviews on Yelp that they go, that they go back and check into your location, and then go back in after they've checked in at your location with that filtered review or with their account. Um, so basically, they again, they go. They check in at your location after they, their review's been filtered, if it's been filtered, and then once they've done that, go back in, edit the review, and repost it. Just edit the review. You can either do it, my suggestion is that they edit the review in their, on their computer or whatever after they've checked in. A lot of times what happens is, is that review then will be unfiltered because of the check-in. So those are all things that you want to do in order to make sure that that reviews stay and they are, are posted. Again, make sure that you have your, your, the people that are reviewing you. The best way to get those reviews to stick is to have them actually post the review on either Google Plus Local and they can find your location here on Google Plus Local by just going in here to find, find business. And then Yelp, same thing. Have them go in and find your business. What we found is, is that Google Plus and Yelp highly, I don't know, they, they, they're, they're much, they, they favor the reviews and they're much more likely to post reviews that are left using a smartphone because of the fact that it's unlikely that that review is going to be a fake review because the person is actually logged in, they've got their computer with them, they've got their, their smartphone with them. They've checked in, they're at the location. That's most likely a real review. If somebody's gone through that much of a hassle in order to leave a review, then they, they're, they're counting that, that is, that's going to be a real review. So hopefully this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, you can, um, you can get a hold of me on, just go to my website at accelerateyourmarketing.com. That's A C C E L E R A T E, yourmarketing.com. I hope this helps. And let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks. You can also post some questions on the, in the Google Plus community that I've created. And um, I'll chat with you there too. Thanks. Bye-bye.